So welcome back. We're starting our second week back in cold Germany with a little errand run down at the center where we got our custom roof windows cut because one is fucked up and we need a new one. Um, if you remember the reason why I had a full-blown melt meltdown and we left for the winter, today we're going to start and fix that problem. Let's see. So. Yeah. <laughs> nope. There we go. Glass acquired on to the hardware store. Back at our second home. Anybody else who loves going to the hardware store? I could literally spend hours in here. Am I weird? Anybody else feeling like that? There's so many projects to be done. Millimeters. <laughs> the clearance when this sits in is gonna be horrible. Yep. Quick lunch break at our favorite carry force spot and then we'll keep on going. While we're here, since IKEA is right next to the Currywurst place, we're going to have a look if there's a mattress in the clearance aisle, since we do that like once a month, just to check if we can get a cheap mattress. So we'll have a quick run into IKEA. <laughs> Too small, too small. Children's mattress. And just a topper. So, back to work it is. So we decided to start with something lighthearted and fun. We ordered a bunch of like drawer handles. We have different colors, different styles, different materials. And we brought one of the finished drawers with us, so we're going to hold that in and then just hold each of these onto it and kind of like decide which kind of drawer handle we want. We're going to send back whatever we don't want and just order more of the ones that we do want. That is very rose gold. That is way too rose gold. Yeah. These Not are a big fan. thick AF. I think I might be a fan of like the more gold one. Like this, I like. But that looks cheap goldish. But you don't like the handles themselves? I don't know, it looks cheap. Well, because it's not gold. No, it is. It is cheap. <laughs> is this even metal? No. It's probably no. like aluminum or something. Aluminum is metal. But it's not like hard metal. <laughs> aluminum is hard. Is it? Yeah. Depends on the thickness. Well, then I'm just talking yes. Yes. <laughs> Miriam, that's how islands are made. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of like it. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Also, because it doesn't stand out, so like you're not gonna like walk. I don't know how I feel about the color of it, because like it really doesn't match this, like at all. I'm not a fan. It looks too no. fancy. Yeah. I'm still not a fan of the two thingy. What about this one? I like that one better. Oh, they're cheaply manufactured though. They're all cheap. <laughs> they are massive. They're pretty big. They I mean, stand out a lot. So. Yeah. If they were closer to the thing and less, I would... Slimmer. Yeah, I don't know about the color. The weight difference is quite huge. Mm -hmm. And then you have to think, we have like 15 well, of those. So we narrowed it down to three options, basically. We have this knobby option, but it does stand out quite far. And if you catch your like thigh on this, it will probably hurt. Um, I mean, it's true. That is true. Um, this little handle, it is about, what, 10 centimeters? Um, so it doesn't look too huge, but it's machined quite poorly. But I mean, it is still cheap handled, so I guess. 
And the one that we kind of like the most is this leather option where you basically just have a leather handle sticking out because it's very flush and you can't hurt yourself on it, which is always an op always a good thing for Miriam. And the problem is though that the leather, the coloring of the leather doesn't really match our vibe. The coloring of the leather doesn't really match the color of everything else in the van, so we have to find a different tan color, I guess. Um, if we can't, we have to go with the metal option, and also you have to kind of tuck on the drawers quite hard when you want to pull them out, as they are secured in there. So we don't know if the like fake leather flimsy handle can handle that. We'll see. We might get a few other options and see if we like something else better, but for now it's probably going to be one of these three. Um, also, <laughs> also, obviously the metal ones are a lot heavier than the leather one, so that is also a like plus point for the leather because since we should be watching out for how heavy all of this is since we are going to put 15 handles in there um the weight does add up so we're just going to have to think about what we really want what is most important to us <laughs> yes <laughs> and we'll let you know what we end up choosing <laughs> So yesterday we got our second custom glass window because this one broke but since we can't install this yet as it's currently as you can see raining and the glue needs above 10 degrees celsius to like cure properly we're gonna get started on these upper cabinets we're gonna try out what color we like first we're gonna either go with like a beige-ish color like this uh, the one that we actually used as our base coat for this front dividing wall, or we're gonna do the same like speckly, artsy stuff that we did on to here. We're just not sure if doing the entirety of the upper cabinets is gonna be a little too much, but we're gonna try it out today and see what we like best and then keep on going from there. So we've decided that we're going to go a little bit funky with it. We wanted it to not be like plain and boring so we're probably going to paint all of them beige first and then make kind of like a wave with the speckles in it so it's like not just beige or not just speckled but like a little bit of everything and it just sounds fun to kind of get creative with it so task number one of figuring out how we are going to paint these is done now the next one is to actually see if these properly fit in there and put them in I have my trusty little list here which tells us which board goes on to where and then we have these hinges that we're going to attach them to. So we're going to get going on that. We're going to move from right to left and just hope that most of them fit in there perfectly and we don't have to do many adjustments. You want to experience true level, Morty? I'd love to experience true level. Hmm? That's crooked. So jokes on us, we thought it would be an easy task once again to just like put them in there and call it a day. But as always, our problem is that we don't actually know what's straight. So like how do we figure out how we are going to attach these so that they are all aligned and not like slanted everywhere? Because all of the beams in here aren't really straight. So we took some measurements and we're not going to explain what we measured because it might be stupid and we're just going to try it out on the first one because we can always flip it around and then have a second try at it. But I don't know, nothing is straight, nothing is in 90 degree angle, so we're just gonna... I don't know if people just do their upper cabinets better than us, but I have no idea how to align this, so we're just going to try it out and see what happens. open up all the way. Yep, doesn't close all the way though. 
Everything's bent, nothing's aligned. Yeah, so that wasn't supposed to happen, obviously. We did not give us enough leeway. So let's figure out what we're gonna do with that. We've decided to take it back out and just sand down the side that is colliding with our wall and just hope that the rest of it. Fuck it. And just like that, it fits. And just like that, we have doors to our upper cabinets. These do still need painting, like we said, so we are taking all of them back out. But before we do that, we do have to make some adjustments. Some of them are a bit crooked as always, so we're just going to sand them down a bit so all of the cracks are the same. So, after we've taken out all of our fronts for the upper cabinets, it's now time to paint them as those take three coats of paint, which have to dry six hours each. We kind of have some time to spend to do some side projects and one of the side projects is finally getting this boy big boy in there our fridge is going to be installed today because it's an easy side job that we have to do anyways and what better time than now you want to help how high do you want to go So tight, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as we measured this quite snug, it is in here and it can't really move side to side. It still could move um, out the front, so we're just gonna zip tie the stands down on like the slides that we made, and that should shouldn't be going anywhere. We should have probably seen if it's even working before we tie it down. Too late. Yep. And it's in. So we gave them all their beige base coat. We gave all of these their base beige coat. Beige base coat. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> beige base coat. Base beige coat. <laughs> base beige coat. Actually, it doesn't the sound too bad. The base beige. Well, it's also correct. No. Yeah. The base beige coat. The beige coat doesn't exist. Okay, so we gave all of these their beige base coat, and now we're just gonna quickly put them back in, see how it looks, and progress from there. Okay, so the upper cabinets are still beige as we can't really decide what to do with them. We have done several iterations of designs in Photoshop and SketchUp, but uh, I don't like it too plain, Miriam doesn't like it too funky, we can't really come together with it. But we've had this in for a week now, just beige, which was like initially way too plain for us, and now we're kind of starting to like it, so I don't know. Um, it's going on us. We'll just leave it in for a while now, we'll just finish the rest of the kitchen next week and then we will see if we come back to that or if we just go straight on to another project. But that's something for a different day and a different week and until then, goodbye! Whee!